Good morning. Oh, that was a little creepy. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. And welcome to day four of Vlogmas. This is the progress I got yesterday. I started my third stripe. I'm really liking how the green is blending into the gold there. Birdie Dash Spider Man. I'm Lydia of Lydia's Homestead. You can find me on Instagram and Ravelry and Facebook. My links are down below. And welcome to my cozy corner. Um, today is day four. Let's get right into it. Let's open this. The Count of Monte Cristo. That's what colorway it is. Of classic Christmas novels by McMullen Fiber Company. What colorway do we think it's going to be? What color do you think? Ready? Green. Green? You think another green one? Ready for me to open it? Let's open it. Oh. and greens. You were right about the green. So, well, tealish. Red. I haven't watched Count Monte Cristo in a long time. I kind of want to watch it. Okay. Okay. And I need to read the story, too. That'd be fun. So, that's going to go beside that color. Hmm. And I knew there were some bright reds, but there's only two or three. I might skip this color. What do you think I should do? Uh, instead of reds, because I know there's some cooler colors coming. So maybe save my reds for another project because I know this blanket is going to get quite big. Uh, what do you think I should do? Let me know about down below. What would you do? Hmm. Cause this is, this is very bright. And I'm thinking I wanna go more of the more subtle colors. Is that, or is that cooler colors? I always forget which one's which. So <laughs> maybe less reds and more of the blues and greens. Going on. Hmm. I'll have to figure that out. So, Count of Monte Cristo. And this morning we went out. I got my Starbucks birthday drink. I love getting free Starbucks because you know it's the largest. And I got the venti 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 iced sugar cookie. And it automatically comes with almond milk, but I switched it to oat milk and I add whipped cream. It's so good. Mm. We also went out this morning. Derek, my husband, took me out for breakfast. I was trying to decide on a dinner place to go to and and he suggested we go out for breakfast because that's my favorite thing. So I got to go out this week twice for breakfast. And we went to a place called um, Redhead Cafe. And it was delicious. I had eggs benedict with lump crab. And I actually put on makeup this morning. Now you're gonna see me tomorrow and be like, she looks really tired. <laughs> no, it's just cause I actually put on mascara today. Rare, rare occurrence for me. I put on my nice birthday sweater and I wore this necklace. It's actually my name in Arabic. Derek brought it back for me from when he was deployed earlier this year. And so it's a very special necklace. 
So that's what we did this morning. And when we went to get my Starbucks, there was another five and below. And we went in just to for a quick peek. And I did see a cross stitch Golden Girls kit. So that was pretty cool. I've never seen Golden Girls, but I've heard a lot of people are into it. So, so I, I took a video of it in case any of you are interested in that. So, and he's doing schoolwork this morning, aren't you? What, what are you drawing? Oh, oh, you need stickers. Need some stickers. And some scribble scrabble. <laughs> scrabble scrabble and it's supposed to be nice today so i think i might go outside and run today maybe take him on a bike ride oh, he had a very sugary milk drink he got a he got a mocktail so it yeah it was like blueberry strawberry sugar milk that's what that was and he doesn't get a lot of sugar all at once usually so he's nice too but lots of knitting today hope you're having a wonderful day and i'll see you later We decided to come outside because it's in the 60s and it's beautiful so here we are and I realized that I dyed some yarn with the skins of two pomegranates the other day and I've not shown you the results from it yet so here's what I started with let me check stay over here here's what I started with bigs and little non superwash woolly wool and I dyed up four skeins and look what I got beautiful light tan yellowish color and I'm going to be posting this on my Instagram you can find the link below of hopefully not too washed out picture and here they are I plan on knitting up the Humlebee shawl, means bee, and I dyed some yellowish skeins because that's what the color I wanted for this shawl. And here comes some jets. We live near the flight line of the of Oceana Naval. So if you hear some jets, they're just out there doing their job. 
and protecting our country. Anyway, so this is the pomegranate colorway for the Humblebee show I want to do. And so if you, if you saw that video and were like, what is she doing? If you have any tips for me for yarn dyeing, please let me know. I think I could have washed the yarn a bit more, used a detergent, pH neutral detergent of some sort to get a better, better color because this is pretty subtle. So then my main color I wanted to do was avocado and I wanted a dusty pink. So I actually dyed seven skeins. Ready? <laughs> what do you think? How did I do? All in the same dye bath, all at the same time. I have a pullover pattern in mind, I believe it's called the Slade Pullover, if I'm not mistaken. And I was going to show you on my laptop, but it's too bright out here and it just shows a reflection, so I'll have to show you that later, but what do you think of my dusty pink? Is it, is it showing up on there? I'll post a picture of it later, but look how pretty. <sighs> I am so excited about this. I did this in their heritage weight, so their worsted weight. And <clears throat> for my size, the pattern called for seven skeins of worsted weight. And I really wanted a dusty pink pullover. And it's so pretty. It has um, details on the sleeve and it has pockets in the front. And then the neck comes up and has a little drawstring. So I am super excited. I would have liked a little bit darker, but once again, I didn't use a soap or detergent on the wool before I dyed it. I just soaked it overnight in water and vinegar. And I think it took it a little bit better than the pomegranate. Here's the pomegranate. And here's what I started with. So let me put these down. Okay, <laughs> put those down. And I did get some darker spots on that because I did leave the avocados in the mesh bag on top a little bit. So it did get some dark spots, but that, that's okay. I'm, I'm cool with that. But here they are, all three together. I'll put the avocado in the middle. And you can see the colors from the non-dyed, hasn't been done anything to, to these. So I was pretty excited with that. I had watched Cabin Boy Knits here on YouTube, um, Christopher Walker dye using avocado and using pomegranate. So after watching his and a few other videos, I wanted to try it out. Um, I do have some books on my wish list that I'm hoping to purchase to learn more about yarn dyeing. So hopefully I can become better at that. But if you have any tips for me, I would love to hear them. Um, I am excited about the humblebee shawl. It's, I love the little bees that go around the border. They're so cute. And I thought that'd be great in this light color. Yeah. And then this slate pullover I actually don't have the pattern for yet but it's only $4.99 it's on Ravelry and it's on the nitpicks website but it's in my wish list I just gotta click the button and then so the those two are part of my make nine I'm actually doing make nine because I can this year I just started knitting last December and just knit a whole bunch of socks beginning of this year but for 2022 I, I'm already starting 
to have a few things on my list that I want to knit up. So these are two of them and I dyed my own yarn for it. So last year I was saying, I'm never going to dye my own yarn. This year I am trying to never say never. So you, you never know, you never know, never say never. All right, so that was my, how my pomegranate came out and how my avocado came out. I used the pits and the skins for this and 70% total weight of the total weight of the yarn. That's how much pits and skins I used of avocado for this. And I let the dye bath sit overnight with, after heating it up, simmering it for a couple hours, let it sit overnight with the pits and skins in there. And then also let the seven skeins sit in there overnight after simmering it. So, and that's the color I got. So, super excited about that. I am loving that dusty pink. Some other things I want to try next because I still have some bare yarn. Um, well, and I purchased more for the Knit Pick sale. Did anybody else get some from the Knit Pick sale? Uh, some yarn. They, they had their big sale going on, but then for Black Friday, they had their 25% site-wide. You enter in a code percent sale. So I bought their 20 skein bulk worsted weight yarn. So that's a discount since it's bulk plus the 25% off on Black Friday. So I have that coming in the mail soon. Um, and Svenja of Svenja Knits, she has been so gracious to send me a kit from Knit Picks. She's done yarn dyeing. She just had her final uh, uh, shop update for her dyeing, dyed yarn. Oh, those are so beautiful. But she just finished grad school and so she has a new stage in her life. So she's just going to be selling finished knits of that she makes. And she had this kit that she, of natural dye, dyes and aloe mordants that she had from Knit Picks that she's sending me. Um, I sent her some things for her, for giveaways for her knit along earlier this year. So it was kind of like a little swap that I didn't even know was going to turn into a swap. So that is so fun, making knitting friends in the knitting community on Instagram has been wonderful this year. And so my next thing I want to try with my bare yarn, as I was saying, um, I would like to try some black walnut. Get, I'm going to try to get some darker colors. I know natural colors are more subtle and I love that, but I would like to try to get some more, a uh, little bit darker browns and maybe even dark brown. That would, that would be something, wouldn't it? Um, so I'm going to experiment with that uh, plan too here in the next few months and maybe some bark, not pulling from, from the tree or anything, but if I come across it and forage it. So those are some things I would like to try soon. So I hope you like, hope you like these. Let me know what you think of them. Let me know if you've ever tried dyeing yarn and how it turned out for you or if you have a YouTube video I'd love to watch it and I am going to go play a little bit with little boy since it's so nice and hopefully get my run in maybe outside today and knitting done and I will see all of you tomorrow have a great day